you see me on here, most of you don't know me, or at least you've never met me. And of course, there's all the typical assumptions, right? You see the tube in my neck, you see that I am on breathing life support. If you've gone through a couple of my videos, some of my pin videos, you've learned that I am living with a very rare, incurable muscle disease. It has slowly taken away my ability to walk or stand, or let alone take care of myself. And over the course of my life, I have survived some pretty unimaginable things. Two heart transplants, a kidney transplant, I'm on dialysis for a second time for five years now, waiting for a second kidney transplant. Thyroid cancer, respiratory failure, liver stones, pulmonary embolism. The list goes on and on of all the devastating things that I've had to overcome. And yet it doesn't stop there. You see, every single day of my life, there are so many intricate details so many challenges that I have to go through on a daily basis just to stay alive. I'll give you an example, all right? A typical night for me, I sit in my living room in my wheelchair with Emmanuel, my caregiver, who's an absolute godsend. He hails from Ghana and I thank God every single day for that man. And of course, my beautiful pup, Paris. And then around 10 o'clock after I take my nighttime meds, Emmanuel will bring me in to get ready for bed. Starts by getting me undressed in the wheelchair, which is a very delicate process because my limbs are stiff and my range of motion is very limited, so he does his best not to hurt me, he never does. And then from there, he moves me into bed where it's all another delicate process of placement of pillows and a wedge under my side so that I don't develop bed sores, um, placing my remotes and things that I need within reach. He leaves me a glass of water on my night table, just in case I get thirsty in the middle of the night, my suction. Believe me, I am fully aware of how blessed I am to have somebody to take care of me and keep me so comfortable. But in the middle of the night when I get an itch on my ankle or a part of my body that I can't reach, or I, you know, drop my remote or my phone or my t-shirt will be riding on my back and it's super annoying. Not to mention when the lights go out and the thoughts start racing. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm sharing all of these intimate parts of my life to give you perspective, to remind you of your blessings, to wake you up into not taking every small thing for granted. Because what's small to you is a big deal to someone else.